one of the darkest nights in Kamona, a dark idea popped into my head, which was I only play MP40 until I find 5 red items, which resulted in a 5 hours gameplay non-stop on Northridge with randoms with one of the most terrible guns in the game, very bad accuracy, terribly bad damage, but I you know, committed to that, so I, I wanted to do the challenge. In the very first game I had a relatively bad spawn, but hey, I was checking the sewage plant, nothing really, and then when I arrived to the hotel, one of my teammates was reporting, ENEMY SIGHTED! And I thought that okay, no worries, I'm gonna support you, I have the best gun in the game, so bring it on. And while I was running towards my teammate, that guy somehow sneaked behind him and he caught me off guard. So no red item died in the first game. This is how it all started and I knew that this is not gonna be easy. In the second game, however, I had one of the best spawns, yes, right next to the hotel. And guess what? In the first save, in the very first save, in the first one, I found the G-Lion. A G, -G, 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 G lion, but shortly after that, I realized that MP40 is not gonna save my ass, so I should avoid face-to-face -face fights at all cost. But we had the first red item straight in the second game, guys. In the next game, I had a nice spawn again, but I found nothing at the reception. Launched to nothing except trash purple. I didn't open the private launch because there were enemies incoming. We got attacked from two sides, so I was running, I was pushing, I was killing, I picked up a fall, and then I got killed by a bot, a Java Due. He just destroyed me. I know it's a shame, but I'm not crying. Just, just a tiny bit. In the next game, I was alone, no teammates, and I had to run 400 meters to get to the hotel. And after arriving, I started opening the safes, but unfortunately nothing, nothing in D208. I even got the free safe, nothing, lunch to nothing. So I was about to extract, and I was hearing gunshots, so I thought, let's go, let's destroy that guy. We have an MP40, let's go, let's do some killing here. And uh, he killed me. That's it. In game 5, I was spawning near the radio station, I moved to the hotel, I saw that there was already some fight happening in the parking lot, but then out of the blue somebody came from the outside, maybe there were enemies inside and there was somebody else coming, doesn't really matter because I did a gunfight and I died again. Five times in a row, I die, I die, I die, I die, I die, I die. This gun is so terribly bad that it made me feel that it doesn't even make sense to do a fight because I'm gonna die anyways. Game six, we had a god spoon again right next to the hotel and I was rushing it, rushing the first save and bang, bang, bang. There was my teapot, my second red item in the sixth game. My teammate said that there are enemies upstairs, third floor, and I said there are somebody downstairs. And I was the one shooting first. I was the one hitting his head, but he didn't die. And then I got a headshot. Again I died, but I didn't care because we have a teapot, two red items out of six games. In the next game I was spawning next to the sewage plant, so it was worth checking the safe, but it wasn't worth checking the safe because I didn't find anything, so I moved to the hotel and when I arrived I accidentally shot that poor guy with a bison, sorry for that, for killing you with an MP40. <laughs> Sorry for that. But then I was running into chats. They were shooting at me from an impossible angle. So I instantly knew I have to run like a chicken. I wanted to poke around with them. And out of the blue, he just shot me from the other side. And yeah, I mean, yeah, you know. It's, it's always the enemy who spots you, it's never you spotting them. In game 8 I had yet another nice spawn, but nothing at the reception, nothing at the upper reception, nothing in B203, nothing in launch 2, and guess what, D208, nothing. 
but I had a thermal teammate and I was hoping that at least he's gonna shoot like multiple enemies like clearing the whole lobby and I'm gonna get some free stuff even though I didn't find any red items that would have been a nice thing but hmm, no I died and he unfortunately died as well and lost his thermal I even recorded how it's being taken off his head it was a sad moment you will not believe that in the next game game number nine I had the ultimate spawn again next to the hotel and I started opening the saves reception nothing launch to nothing B203 nothing a private launch private launch private launch yes a G necklace which means we already had three red items in total on my way home my teammate requested some backup and whilst i couldn't do much with my mp40 i was okay i'm gonna i'm gonna help you okay so i did and then like out of the blue i got shot from sewage plant by a sniper Meh. Meh. this is north switch you can never know where the enemies are hiding and where the danger is gonna come from it can be anywhere this is north switch game 10 was relatively boring because the same old story rushing the hotel good spawn by the way rushing the hotel opening the safes and then the purple 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 and we were fighting the bots because yes we had the boss and then we got sandwiched again and i easily died due to a guy with an ar-57 and if you compare the two guns there is absolutely, absolutely, literally no way I could have killed that guy. Unless some kind of miracle happens, but in Arena Breakout, we don't have miracles. In game 11, I was spawning this far from the hotel, like relatively far away, at the edge of the map. And we had an early fight, I don't know how, but I didn't die, and I even had a chance to do my ultimate with my MP40, which was the and basically hit nothing but i i felt like that i'm you know adding adding something adding value to the team by just being there i didn't do any damage in my opinion i picked up an f2000 from my fallen ally and this was the first game after 10 games that i finally felt that i have something to fight with something that has decent firepower but unfortunately there was nobody to fight in the hotel i searched the whole area i opened everything that was remaining and didn't find anything i even had a quick stop at the sewage plant hoping for a red item in that safe but nothing so i extracted but at least i kept myself alive and i didn't die game number 12 nothing exciting dead lobby nothing in the hotel no red items so i relatively quickly wanted to extract to start a new game but then next to the sawmill where we have the free save i was hearing some footsteps and the game again was ruthless i mean i threw a bomb and i was hoping that maybe you know even though if i don't find the red item it's always good to pick up stuff from enemies i threw a nade and my expectation was that he's gonna peek i'm gonna shoot him and then kill his partner and then you know but it didn't happen like that i got a headshot while i was throwing the nade but but hey i i at least destroyed their armor with my nade better than nothing game number 13 yes again the best spawn ever for this challenge right next to the hotel i started opening the saves one by one purple cash purple and i was devastated that again i'm not gonna find anything and then i got to the room d208 yes and I opened the safe and guess what G, -g, 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 G necklace guys so with that we had yet another red item in our pockets and before extracting I thought that there's a document box you know 
where you have the bridge from building C to D. And I wanted to open that. Why not? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? This challenge wouldn't be a challenge if I wouldn't have been killed by a thermal player. How can it happen that somebody is like standing there and watching that bridge with the thermal exactly at that time when I want to open that freaking document box? Anyways, I had the G necklace in my pocket, so I was fine. In game 14, I spawned next to the radio station and I had a quick stop just to check that free save. And, uh, you know, not a surprise that I didn't find anything, so I moved to the hotel and in the parking lot, I spent a decent amount of time because I knew something's happening inside. I wasn't sure if it's one team or multiple teams, but something was going on. And I was on my own with my MP40 and I wasn't like, you know, I, I didn't want to push them. But I did poke them. I did poke them. There were multiple chats, you know, run, running around. And I was actually shooting that guy. He had no clue where the shots are coming from. And then... After that, I was hiding like a chicken because I didn't want to die. Please, please, Giga Chat, don't spot me. And then all I did, I waited for them to leave the hotel and basically act as a scavenger. And I found some good stuff. A P90, an AUG, T5 helmet, T5 armor, and I extracted with approximately 300,000 without having any reds, without having any kills, but it's still better than nothing. Game 15, another excellent spawn. I couldn't believe that I am this lucky that I spawned next to the hotel so many times. But in this game, I wasn't that lucky with the saves because again, just the trash. Purpose, 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 cash, but no red items. And then after a long, long run, my teammate informed me that he's chasing somebody. So we chased that guy until the cable car station. And I was somewhat participating in the fight by throwing some nades, but I didn't do kind of anything again. It wasn't my kill. And then my teammates started arguing on who picked up what and why and who should be reported. And then one guy killed the other. I wanted to, you know, focus on my own stuff and I just extracted at the cable car station and I'm out, shitty out. Game 16 was relatively quick because I heard some noises while I was running to the hotel and this time the enemy was spotting me but I had a second chance. I could somehow escape by jumping behind a tree. I did even have a chance shooting at that guy MP40, MP40, but I didn't do any decent damage, so he was the one killing me. So I had to again dress up and head into a next game. Game 17, best spawn again. Yeah, yeah don't, don't laugh, okay? Okay, don't laugh. I spawned here like 10 times out of all of the games I played. But this time I wasn't that lucky because my teammates also had keys and I didn't really find anything useful. We also got attacked by the boss. So it was just meh. Okay, I want to get out. Let's do another round. And while I was extracting, there's that new place which has been added later on to the Northridge map. And I don't know the name of that. The cafeteria or something. And there is that free save. And desperately... I was fighting my way up to that room to like give it a chance to open that safe. And there was a red item. The fifth red item was in that safe. So I completed, finally completed this MP40 challenge. And one thing I can promise you guys is that I'm never ever gonna play MP40 because this weapon sucks. But at the same time, we could be saying that this gun brought me luck because out of 17 games, 17 games in total, I found five red items in the Northridge Hotel. And you guys sometimes are complaining that you don't even find a red item throughout the whole season. This session lasted for five hours pure gameplay. 
and within that five hours I found five red items so it's doable okay it's doable here's the proof feel free to share this with anybody who has doubts that there are no red items in Northridge Hotel there are if you like this type of challenge where shady plays something until something happens then please share your idea in the comment section it could be shady plays m24 until he extracts five times from armory or whatever okay ideas are welcome thank you for sticking with me but before you leave there is the big announcement i want to make because by sharing it with you guys i kind of commit to that so then there is no way out so <laughs> The thing is that we are working on the next song with Rugaboom and it's gonna be an Eminem song, okay? He's gonna do the singing part and I'm gonna do the Eminem rap part. And I'm scared. And I would need a bit of, you know, encouraging from you guys in the comment section because I'm actually scared. I wanna make it funny or I wanna make it okay-ish, but I think that it might end up be like terribly bad and I don't want that I would never want to publish something that is terribly bad so guys fingers crossed wish me good luck that it's gonna go well and it's gonna go in a way I envision it to go anyways shoot loot subscribe and see you in the next one shady out bye